Good morning. So we are going to go over how to convert and compare metric units. So we have this chart for metric measurement and this is going to tell us uh, if we're going to go up or down by a, by a power of 10. So for this example we have 16 meters. That's our number of meters. Then we're going to find the relationship between the two. So I'm going to start here at meters because that is what I'm starting with here. So if I start with meters, I'm going to think, well, how many powers of 10 am I going up or am I going down? So if I am going, I'm going to meters, which is right here. So if I'm going to meters, I have to count how many times I'm going to go. So I'm going to start here, one, two, three. So let's just look at that again. That's one, two, three. Now we're at millimeters, mm, because that is um, this m right here goes in front of this. So this is dm and this is cm. You could also do dl or cl. So these letters go in front of these. So right now we're looking at millimeters. So if I go three times, I'm going to go three powers of 10. These are three powers of 10 larger. So this is getting, this is multiplied by a power of 10 each time. So I'm going to multiply by 16 by three powers of 10. So, and I know that that little three, that is how many zeros I'm going to add. So my answer is 16,000 millimeters. Okay, so what you just wanna remember is if you are going in this direction, you're gonna multiply by powers of 10. If you are going in this direction, you're going to divide by a power of 10, by powers of 10, okay? All right, that's your example. Thank you, I hope you understand how to do this. This chart will really help you.